to the air. So we will get that a nice little treat to look forward to at the end of the week, although it will still be warm in the afternoons. Again, here's an Invest 91L and starting to see actually a couple of these higher cloud tops clustered around that very loose kind of messy low pressure center. The chance for development has not changed. It has stayed low this whole time, but just something that we've been watching. But it looks like it will get drawn to the north partially because of the trough of low pressure that will eventually drive that cool front into our area. And so this is the general area that we will see it uh, possibly trying to develop a little bit over toward uh, Florida's Big Bend area, and it looks like that moisture would still be exiting and over the Atlantic, perhaps even in Jacksonville, where, of course, we have the Saints game on the uh, weekend. So it looks like there might be a chance for a few spotty downpours in Jacksonville, but not looking for a really high chance of rain really associated with Invest 91L. We are still talking about Hurricane Larry, too. This has not been at any time a threat for us. It's moving up north around this ridge of high pressure, but actually tropical storm watches have been issued for Bermuda just because some of the outer bends might pass over Bermuda. It might get kind of close as it remains a category two storm over the next several days. Right now it's still officially a category three, but this is a big storm. It has been a major hurricane for a while now, and it's using up a lot of energy out here, mostly over the open Atlantic. And again, hopefully kind of staying away uh, with some of its biggest impacts from the island of Bermuda. Our tropical activity, look at this. September 10th is the peak. It is September 7th. We are almost there, and then we typically see a pretty big drop off as we head into October. And as we start to see for the Gulf Coast, those cold fronts starting to increase. So again, it's really nice to see this little pattern that we've had lately with the cool fronts moving in, even though they have not been a true fall feeling cold front. Uh, this one actually will feel pretty nice. Look at those North Shore lows in the 60s. That's going to feel nice. That might actually be your little first taste of fall, even though we're not looking for really cool weather just yet. But our highs by Friday only in the upper 80s and South Shore lows will still be in the 70s, but feeling very pleasant especially mornings and evenings with that drier air.